We in North America, uh, really in our clinical trials and the intergroup, have used three categories uh, rather than uh, some others that are used in Europe, uh, for example, the German Hodgkin study group and uh, URTC LISA groups have uh, early stage favorable, early stage unfavorable. We don't use that. So we use three categories. We use stage one and two non-bulky, stage one and two bulky, and stage three and four. So for stage one and two bulky, non-bulky rather, which is probably the most common presentation, uh, we have uh, we have really been doing trials and now believe that you can get excellent results with chemotherapy alone without adding radiation therapy, which is what's called combined modality treatment. So with two, three, four, or six cycles of ABVD, which is the standard treatment, uh, you can achieve durable complete remissions in approximately 90% of patients without radiation therapy. If you add radiation therapy, you can probably improve this by five to 10%. So the argument is, should everybody get radiation therapy in addition to achieve that or should we treat the majority of patients, 90% with chemotherapy only, which would avoid their exposure to radiation therapy, which has really devastating late long-term side effects, including second primary cancers and cardiovascular effects. And we sort of favor the last ladder. Uh, it is, I, to strengthen that case uh, is the observation that uh, unlike many other cancers, second line treatment can be curative in the vast number of patients, possibly, you know, prob you know, probably the majority of patients. So if you have to add radiation therapy or other treatment to the 10% who might relapse, or the difference, you know, actually would be five to 10% who relapse, you will use it only in patients who need it. This is where things stand. There are, there are differences in opinion. On the, one, on the one hand, the traditional radiation oncologists say, you have to get that five to 10% better durable remission. We say you can get that with treatment if they need it and, exp and not expose most of the patients to radiation therapy.